I have a question for you. And the question is, do you believe all the thoughts in your head? So that's what we're going to talk about in this video is the issue of do we believe all the thoughts in our head? And we'll get into that. But first, I just want to tell you, my name is Eddie and Margaret and I are a mindful emergence. And what we do is we provide simple steps to help us move through life's transitions, many of which are very, very difficult. And if you like this video uh, and you're on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe to our channel and click the notification so you get uh, future videos. We post them at least twice a week. So, do you believe the thoughts in your head? Well, I've been in recovery for a long time and I've been to a lot of meetings. And one of the things that I hear often shared among people in especially early recovery, but not just early recovery, is don't go in there alone. There is a discouraging of looking at our thoughts. And I understand why that is. That is because these thoughts are very difficult and disturbing. And when we obsess on them, they can lead to compulsive behavior, which are often very destructive for ourselves, our families, and uh, anyone else uh, that's around us. So, and I understand in these meetings, what they're inviting people to do is as soon as they get these difficult thoughts to go talk to somebody, either somebody that's mentoring them or a friend or, you know, anyone that can help them work through this. But eventually, and I believe this so strongly, eventually we need to look at these thoughts. We need to take time when we're ready and examine what's going on in our head. Because here's the deal. The quality of our life is not determined by what happens. It's determined by what we think about it. And these thoughts uh, that go through our head, First of all, well, first of all, most of them are random nonsense, but the ones that are really a problem, are they actually true? That's a good question to ask yourself when you're struggling, especially when you're hearing messages like, this is more than I can handle, or there's something wrong with me. Common messages, right? Is this really true? Where's the evidence? And maybe how can we reframe this and see evidence to the contrary? Because I'm sure that's true too. And let's face it, we know this. So one of the techniques that can be used to start working with the thoughts in our head is a simple meditation practice. But of course, many of us tell ourselves, I can't meditate because I can't stop the thoughts in my head. That's not the point. The point is to notice the thoughts and ignore them. And there's techniques that I teach that help you do just that. Not saying it's easy, but with a practice and with some guidance, it's something we're all capable of doing. Anyone can meditate if they have the willingness to do it. And you start out small. Maybe just taking a minute, a couple of minutes at a time and doing the practice. And over a period of time, we all can start being able to notice the thoughts in our head and be able to create a different relationship with them and not necessarily believe them, not necessarily act out on them. So this is very, very important. Now, meditation is not the only way to work with the thoughts in their head. It's just one way. And what Margaret and I do is we offer a lot of different techniques that you can use uh, to create a different relationship with our mind and, and not necessarily act out, react in a way that's unhealthy. So I want to encourage you to consider that. So here's one tip that... I invite you to practice when you're really feeling like your mind is spinning out. Pause and take a breath. 
simply and then say, what am I thinking? What's going on? Maybe take another pause. And the simple process of exhaling in that way can help calm us down a little bit. It kind of helps bring us down into the parasympathetic nervous system. And then ask yourself, are these thoughts actually true? What if they're not true? Hmm. We've kind of pumped the brakes and created a little bit of space to examine what's going on. So that's something that any of us can do. It's called the sacred pause. So there's your takeaway. There's something that you can do at any time, virtually any situation, not 100%, okay? But let's face it, most situations, what am I thinking? What are these stories in my head? Are they actually true? What if it wasn't true? What if I could have a different thought? See? So that's the takeaway. So, as I mentioned before, if you're seeing this on YouTube, I invite you to subscribe. Uh, you can also go to our website and learn more about what we do, a mindful emergence.com. And if you're seeing this on Facebook, I'll put that link in the comments below. So thanks for watching and talk to you next time.